This talk is an overview of secondaries, which is my name for medications used to treat the side effects of primary psychotropic medications. I should note up front that management of side effects is a complicated topic. There are many variables to be considered, including patient preferences on a case-by-case -case basis, and it is hard to make generalizations. As such, this talk is not comprehensive, but should serve as an introduction to the topic, covering a basic approach to managing side effects and a sampling of common scenarios where medications can be considered to treat side effects. Here is my general approach to managing side effects. The first step involves education and counseling. Many side effects of psychotropics are temporary. For example, the initial GI discomfort and headaches associated with starting an antidepressant. Some symptoms that the patient perceives are side effects of medication may not be side effects at all. For example, if a patient reports hair loss that they attribute to starting fluoxetine. In these cases, it may be appropriate to simply reassure the patient that the symptoms will resolve or that they are not attributable to the medication. If you determine that the symptom is likely a medication side effect, then the second step, if possible, is to lower the dose of the offending med or stop or switch the med, if possible, to a med with equivalent therapeutic effects but more tolerable side effects. For example, switching from escitalopram to bupropion due to sexual side effects. If you are unable to change the medication, then the third step is to recommend lifestyle changes to mitigate side effects. For example, recommending exercise and diet changes to mitigate metabolic side effects of second-generation antipsychotics. Finally, if none of these solutions are appropriate or sufficient, then you can consider adding a secondary med. Now, I'll go into some examples of common side effects where secondaries might be appropriate. For the antidepressants, common side effects include anxiety soon after starting the med, insomnia, and sexual side effects. Early anxiety can be managed with PRN anxiolytics, such as hydroxyzine, until it resolves. If behavioral strategies do not help for insomnia, consider adding a sedative hypnotic, especially one with a dual indication for depression. For sexual side effects, consider adding bupropion or sildenafil. For the antipsychotics, the three kinds of extrapyramidal symptoms can be managed with the meds listed here. Tardive dyskinesia can be treated with VMAT inhibitors such as valbenazine. To limit metabolic side effects, consider adding metformin. For lithium, tremors can be treated with propranolol, hypothyroidism with levothyroxine, and polyuria with amylaride. Though be aware that you may need to adjust lithium's dose after this as diuretics can alter serum lithium levels. Finally, for valproate, tremors can be treated with propranolol, hyperaminemia with levocarnitine, and hair loss may improve with biotin supplementation. That's the end of this talk. Again, though not comprehensive, I hope this is a helpful guideline for management of common side effects. Thank you.